Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you so happen to be new here. In today's video, I will be showing you how to edit your brushes in Abyss Paint. Now, of course, you know that you can change the opacity and the size right here, but you can also do other things like sort of creating your own custom brush. To do this, go into this menu right here, choose the brush that you would like to edit, I'm going to use the digital pen. And you can see you have the thickness and opacity here too, and a reset button for any mistakes that you want to undo. But over here, there are a bunch of different options. We have fade, where you can change the thickness of some parts of the brush to be like this. And as you can see, the end will just be a lot thicker. Than Along with that, you also have the opacity of the start and end. So if you wanted to, you could lower it and it would be more markery, as you can see on the ends there. It is also a blurring shape, so you can choose a shape that you want it to blur into, and you can up it, although for some of these things you do need to make sure that you have it unlocked either by add or by premium. And here is what that looks like at the end, where it gets blurred out slightly. There is way too many things to show in a small video, but there are tons of different options right here. You can choose your own custom brush pattern right here. Of course, you can change angles, the dot level, which is how separated they are. The jitter essentially just sort of makes your brush wider instead of it being tightly packed together. So here we have a zero jittered brush, but if you upped the jitter even just a little bit, you will see that it is a way different texture. Completely upped would be more of an airbrush, sort of confetti type brush. On type here, you can change the overall type of the brush and the texture, the angles that it has. And then in dynamic, you can change things to do with how fast you're using the brush and how it reacts to that. For example, if you're using it quicker, will it be thicker? So here, if I go slowly, it's really thin. But if I go fast, it is so much thicker. This can make for really nice looking lines. And the same works with a bunch of these different things. We also have pressure, however pressure isn't noticeable unless you're using a stylus that works with Abyss, and not all styluses do. Then you have the minimum and maximum thicknesses and a blending mode option right here. The base color of the canvas, we'll just make it a red. If you have this on the multiply mode, as you can see, it will be slightly darker. And then if you lower it again, it will be way darker. And then once you're done, you can just exit that menu and it will be set. You can also rename it to set it apart from the rest, and if you don't like it, you can just click reset. And now it's totally normal again. Thank you for watching, I hope that you found this helpful, and if you did, consider supporting me. Bye!